When do you plan on dying? <laughs> mm, probably like 25. Probably like 25, 27. <laughs> 25, huh? I don't think they'll want me to be alive while my kids are alive. Because if, if, if we are, then I'll just rule the earth. How does the story of XXXTentacion end? If it ends. How does it end? Like, 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 like does it end? Like how is it supposed to end? How is it supposed to end? Let me tell you how it's supposed to end. The neg the, the The people in the positive aspect clearly see that I'm trying. The most important thing is that you try. You know what I'm saying? That you just do it. That I'm trying. That I'm trying to be a better person. They let this fucking case, this court case, go where it needs to go, which is drop or or shit. Throw me on probation or some shit. Let me be on probation. Put it, run it concurrent or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me be on probation. Monitor me and see who what I turn into. And if I'm about my word, I'm gonna turn into what I said I'm gonna turn into. Which is someone that's gonna positively mold the youth and move it to forward. And then after that, I get off probation. They give me the freedom to do what I need to do. I stay in my, I stay consistent in my ways. You know what I'm saying? I don't revert, I don't revert back to my old mind state. I don't, re and I, and I don't revert. And bro, I try and live as long as I can for these kids and die a good, and die a good death. Um, because if I don't, if I don't live long, they not gonna wanna live long. For, for seeing, Kurt, seeing Kurt Cobain, seeing Kurt Cobain blow his brains out meant a lot to me. I idolized suicide. I thought it was cool. I thought it was a gangster way to go out. Cause it's just a full ass. I don't give a fuck. It's like fuck, fuck my mama feelings, fuck my sister feelings, fuck my auntie feelings, fuck my grandma feelings. You know what I'm saying? And I idolized that cause it's like. I'm living for y'all, and I didn't ask to live. You understand? I look at it like, damn. So it's like really caring about yourself to a degree. Like finally caring about yourself. Like, yo, fuck this. I don't want to live. Fuck this. You know what I'm saying? And I idolize that. But I realize you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ask me the question again. Ask me the question again. Now, I was saying, how does this story end? And what, what how does gonna, it end? What, what I, I, gonna... live, I live as long as I possibly can. So these kids can see as possible, and then boom, I die either of old age or from a fucking or somebody murder me or some shit. Fuck it. Worst thing comes to worst, I fucking die a tragic death or some shit, and I'm not able to see out my dreams. I at least want to know that the kids perceived my message and were able to make something of themselves and able to take my message and use it and turn it into something positive and to, to at least have a good life. I at least, if I'm, gonna, if I'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice, I wanna make sure that my life made at least five million kids happy or they found some sort of answers or resolve in my life. Regardless of the negative around my name, regardless of, of the bad things people say to me, I don't give a fuck because I know my goal in the end and I know what I want for everyone and I know what my messages so i just wanted to say i appreciate and love all of you and i believe in you all do not let your depression make you do not let your body define your soul let your soul define your body your mind is limitless you are worth you are worth more than you could believe all you have to do is dream and all you have to do is want to fulfill that dream and have the strength and he was fucking around with the chopsticks and we was just sitting there and we started talking about kids he was like you're gonna be a great dad so you're gonna be a great dad too someday bro he said no i'm not so what do you mean and he just looked me dead in the eye and he was like i'm not gonna make it past 21 and then just went right back to fucking with the chopsticks like he hadn't said a thing and he was fucking around with the chopsticks and we were just sitting there and we started talking about kids and he was like you're gonna be a great dad so you're gonna be a great dad too someday bro he said no i'm not so what do you mean and he just looked me dead in the eye and he was like i'm not gonna make it past 21 and he just went right back to fucking with the chopsticks like he hadn't said a thing um this is the first time i'm letting them see my hair
my hair is just a reminder of telling me to to fucking relax basically it's a it's a reminder of me telling myself that yo you you are human and that you are not a god you are still on the planet earth and that you need to remind yourself that karma is a real thing and whatever you give out you will get back i knew that something was off the voices in the head came he would tell me like he would not sleep at night and he would tell me he hears voices Literally, you'd be like, oh, I took LSD and I talked to a spirit that's a demon and told me information about myself, about how long I'm going to live, that they're going to come get him at some point. I really didn't like that shit at that point. Yeah, it was a very dark time. And if I end up getting shot and killed for what the fuck I'm doing, or if I end up getting my ass beat at some point in time, or, or nigga, if shit get hard on me, it's because I deserve it. That's point blank, period. Everybody will get a death. Everybody will get a death that is deserving. Everybody will get a life that is deserving. Everybody, you will get what the fuck you deserve, Carmen. We can sacrifice them. Yeah, we can. I, I don't want to though. I don't do sacrifices. I just do hard work. And if I'm gonna sacrifice anything, it's gonna be myself. Intrigue. Selfish. I just want you out of my old... <laughs>